Lonofusion Pharmacology Passage of Drugs Across the Plasma Membrane Part 2 Henderson-Hesselbach Equation The degree of ionization of a drug. Why is it important? Hmm. Many drugs are weak acids or bases and therefore in solutions they ionize partially. That means there will be an ionized form and an unionized form. Ions have charge so they cannot cross the plasma membrane by simple diffusion. So, if we have to know how much of the drug will cross the membrane, we have to calculate how much of it is ionized or unionized, that is the degree of ionization. So, what we will do is first identify the factors that might affect the degree of ionization and bring those together into an equation. Hmm. Take a look at this equilibrium. Here, if the hydrogen ion concentration increases, that is, if the medium becomes acidic, in what direction will the equilibrium shift? To the left. What if the hydrogen ion concentration decreases, that is, when the medium is basic, the equilibrium shifts to the right. Now observe carefully and answer this question. In which medium does the weak acid ionize less? Pause the video if you need some time. A weak acid ionizes less in acidic medium and more in basic medium. Likewise, a weak base ionizes less in a basic medium and more in an acidic environment. So we now know one factor that affects the degree of ionization, the hydrogen ion concentration of the medium. Is it the only factor? Isn't it likely that the drug itself might have some role? To find out, let's dissolve our drug HA in a medium where the hydrogen ion concentration is neither high nor low, that is water. Since H is a weak acid, it will dissociate and eventually reach an equilibrium. This equilibrium will have an equilibrium constant conventionally denoted by K. Since we are discussing the dissociation of the acid, this is the acid dissociation constant or Ka. From your chemistry lessons, do you remember what an equilibrium constant is? It is the ratio of the concentration of the products to the concentration of the reactants in a chemical equilibrium. So here, Ka represents the ratio of the ionized fraction to the unionized fraction. So if there are two weakly acidic drugs and the Ka of one is higher than the other, what does it mean? The first drug ionizes more than the second drug in water. Thus, Ka of a drug is also an important determinant of the degree of ionization in addition to hydrogen ion concentration. Oh. Hydrogen ion concentration we know is represented as pH. pH is negative logarithm of hydrogen ion concentration. So to relate Ka to pH, it too has to be converted into the log scale. Negative log Ka is pKa. So how much of HA ionizes into A- minus depends on two factors, pKa and pH. How exactly are these related? The answer lies in the Henderson-Hesselbach equation. Log concentration of HA divided by concentration of A- minus is equal to pKa minus pH. Since H plus is a proton, HA is a protonated form. So log concentration of HA divided by concentration of A- minus can also be written as log concentration of the protonated form divided by concentration of the unprotonated form. Using pH and pKa, how did Henderson and Hesselbach derive this equation? Pause this video to see that. This is the Henderson-Hesselbach equation derived for a weak base. Now let's try to simplify pKa. In the Henderson-Hesselbach equation, if the unionized fraction is equal to the ionized fraction, then pKa minus pH will be equal to log 1. We know log 1 is equal to 0. So pKa minus pH will be 0. That is, pKa is equal to pH. Thus, pKa can also be defined as the pH at which the fractions of the ionized and unionized forms are equal. Or pKa is the pH at which the drug is half ionized. Oh. Here are some good to know facts. <laughs>
This is a summary of our discussion. We will see some real life scenarios involving simple diffusion and Henderson Hasselbach equation in the next video.